Hello, good evening to everyone. Um, if you are online, Hello and good evening to everyone. Apologies for coming a little bit there, Shoto. Please, if you are on grant, please, can I just see kind of signal uh, that you are on grant? Just something to show that you are in. And um, I, I like to say we are supposed to have a nice time. We are focusing on writing tax to today. And um, I want to say a few things before we start proper. Um, writing tax two is such a, uh, a very wide and interesting aspect of IELTS that um, one we really have to, you know, be calm to be able to handle it as skillfully as it should be undoed. As a matter of fact, it's um, one of the, what I will call the most juicy parts of IELTS. I want to say that uh, I'm aware that many of us have, might have been exposed to a wide range of um, teachings and uh, maybe coachings, and we have had a number of things about um, this subject. Uh, and as a matter of fact, we might have also um, been engaged with some patterns of writing that we are already used to. Um, individual of us also have our styles and strategies of dealing with this. Okay? So um, you might be finding some of this I'll be teaching you to be slightly different from what you have been exposed to in your, uh, in your own personal. Um, encounter with ILTS writing tax two. So, but uh, you don't need to panic because uh, it's not a knowledge exam, it's a skills exam. So uh, it's not about what you know, and it's not about um, how much you know, it's about how, how you're able to apply it appropriately into dealing with um, the exam. I'm going to be giving us examples of various views uh, as it relates to IELTS, and then um, the uh, the background behind choice making for the kind of view that I choose to relate with you, based on my own personal experience. Uh, there is no view that is wrong, and there's no view that is that is 100% right. Everything is just to make sure that your skill is applied. And the way I explain it is this. If Okocha wants to play free kick or can wants to play free kick and decides to turn his back and use his uh, elbow or he uses his uh, heel to play the free kick, nobody, will, nobody is going to be disturbed if, if, if he scores. As long as the ball enters the net, whether he uses his head or uses his leg, whatever. Once the ball enters the net, that is all people are after. So many times people are not really bothered about the issues around strategies, especially if it is going to work and it's going to give you a result. So, and I believe that whatever I'm going to teach you will give you a result. So if you have a, a, a pattern you have been used to before, you don't have to change it. But try to align it with what you give the result. So you can just compare and contrast with whatever I have to say and see how you can play this side by side and then get what you are looking for. All right. So um uh one other thing I like to say before we enter into tax two for me is we talk about uh tax two what are we call the uh, parameters for 
Iban seven score. Parameter for Iban seven score. We have, I think I, I sent this to us before on audio. So I will not begin into details about it because of time and because of what we need to cover. I also would like us to have a lot of time to practice. As a matter of fact, it will be by that the whole of next week should be devoted to practice, just practicing, taking all different kinds of questions, practicing, checking it out, trying to see from, from tax one to tax two, and then if possible, we can also do some reading sections too. I would like that probably next week or even about we can be devoted to that. So, um, not, so I will not waste that time. Just if you're on the Telegram page, just scroll backwards to the, to the beginning aspect. I want to see some audios I sent very early. And if you want me to send the audios to you specifically, just send me a message after this class on Telegram that you like to have. I will repost it on the Telegram page for you to listen to it. So I'll just give a summary of what the, parameter, the parameters for part seven looks like. All right, we have there are four in, in, a, in some, I mean, there are four, you know, as a whole. We have the task response, task response, and then um, coherence and fusion, lexical resource, then grammatical rage and accuracy. Now, this is very similar to tax one. But the difference there is, uh, there are two or three differences. Tax one deals with task achievements because you are expected to cover a particular grade area of, area of information. Because the program noise. So if you can move your phone, because it's like there's a noise, maybe from the underground, something, I'm not sure. If you can move your phone. I think that would be good. So if you can move your phone, I think it will go a long way, okay? All right. So um, the parameter, I talk about tax response. I talk about task achievement. That's the difference between tax two and tax one. Tax, tax one is focusing on ensuring that you're able to cover the range of information you are given. Why tax one is focusing on I mean, tax one is focusing on covering the information. Why tax two is focusing on uh, trying to uh, 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 respond to I mean you are able to, able to respond properly to the question that is being asked. So if you can respond accurately, then you have your score. But sometimes. People are not able to understand the question, and that's why under tax, uh, tax response, you have to understand the question, what can't an approach? So they want to see whether you're able to understand the question. What we asked, do you not understand it at all? And then, I want to know your approach. Are you going to be answering formally or informally? And then, how, how, how many words are you writing? So, uh, I, will be, I will be focusing more on that understand the question because they are in different types of uh, and, and, uh, and shades of question and you must be able to have a very specific uh, approach to each of the questions that come without mixing it up with each other all right so um, um, moving on to let a co coherence and question is still also similar to as one talking about um, link words, referencing, paragraphing, um, uh, the, uh, talking about uh, prog your, your progression, logical progression, talking about accurate use of links. You know, sometimes your links are too loud that your examiner cannot see your, your work. So what that means is that you are using the wrong link and because you're using the wrong link, uh, the examiner that doesn't seem to record with what you are saying anymore because it's attract him. Maybe for maybe you, you, also, you wanted to write something like to start, I mean, something like uh, a resultant effect. Maybe the effect of all that you have been talking about, like writing. So you have to write something like, uh, therefore, or else, 
the narrow is also like moreover. So that's cause attention. Like what? Moreover does not tally. Moreover does not tally with what is being said so far. So, it could cause a cleft between you and the examiner temporarily, and then that can drop your mark. So, now moving on to the third one, which is um, lexical resource. That is your topic specific vocabulary. In um, tax one, the focus is more on verbs and nouns, which is actually what you used to describe changes that of course in your uh in your essay but in tax two you have to actually have read enough to know the topics or i mean the kind of vocabulary that studies with certain aspects of topics for instance for instance now if you are dealing with education and then you are you are writing on i mean and, and the top and the vocabulary the, the vocabulary applying for education is is more is uh, focused around the technology or uh, uh, other issues. Close it off. It's, it's, it's focused on other issues that is not literally with education. You will drop your mark. So more importantly, you must be able to know the vocabulary that that that, that are aligned to the topic you're writing. That comes with a lot of reading, and then you must avoid spelling error. Now, some people just feel that in IELTS, once you follow the structure, doesn't matter uh, if you make any spelling error, you are fine. That's not true. One, one of the things that draw people mark, just to keep people smart, after they have answered the question properly, is grammatical error and spelling error. They want to write um, uh, dumb, they, they wrote, uh, uh, they wrote in, 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 in a wrong way. You know, writing wrong words for, I mean, or implying wrong words for another word. There's another one called confusing words. That's what you are using. You want to write something that is similar to the word you are writing. But you know something else. But all the time it says, that's totally far from it. Okay? So, Complex adjectives, uh, uh, comments, adverbs, uh, coll collocations, word formations. These are things that are being considered under your lexical resource. When it is not properly there, sorry, you may actually have a lesser score. And then um, the grammatical inaccuracy. Let me tell you the truth. I, I is careful with every single grammar error. They, they can see it. This is English test. They see every single error from the point you do not, you, you are supposed to put a, a full stop, you put a comma. Or where you're supposed to put a comma, you put a full stop. Or where there was no comma, you put a comma. They, they are spotting it. So sometimes, sometimes when I correct my students and they see, the way I correct, they are, they are, they are embarrassed. Nah, why, are you, why are you so, why is that tiny comma issue? Ah, X is not going to forgive you for any minor, tiny, minute, whatever kind of thing you call it error. They will always penalize you. So it's better that you don't actually allow yourself to fall into the trap, read your work, as many times as time permits you after you have written your essay and correct all errors, typographical errors, punctuation errors, um, you know. And then uh, there, there are some few things I want to add right now. Please write this thing down. T write these things down, you will need them later. Tentative language, tentative language. Passive statements, impersonal statements, or impersonal language, or impersonal approach. Right, impersonal approach. These are some things that you must add to your grammar. Beyond just writing correct grammar, these are things you have to add. 
Okay. Uh, what other thing am I am I missing out here? Let me see whether there is a piece I wanted to add. Okay. Then your tenses, correct tenses, correct tenses. When you miss out from uh, in tenses, you're in trouble. If you're supposed to use past tense and use present tense based on the kind of question, the way they ask the question, that's trouble. Then in personal, I mean, uh, formal language, formal language. There is no room for pidgin English. Of course, that will sound funny. But sometimes you know, we just feel that, uh, uh, let me just be free. And there are some words that are not even put in English that if you use them in IELTS, you will drop your, you will, your, your mouth will drop. There are two, okay, let me give an example. Let me come and be going. Or, now look at that kind of thing. Of course, in IELTS, it's, it's nonsense. Or probably you say something like, uh, 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 story, story, story. No, you can't say that. Or just say, uh, they used to say, they used to say, uh, 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 there are some words that people say that are normal in our English um, context. But when you put them in it, <laughs> now do straight. So uh, then your use of articles, use of D. Then of course, um, I said tenses. Then um, I said tentative language. And I think we have seen that down. Okay. Now, why is your... Um, tax two important. Why do you have to pay attention to tax two? Why do you have to use all the fourteen, all the fourteen minutes in tax two? Okay. First, tax two is going to take sixty percent or more of the score you have in writing. Tax two will take sixty percent of more of the score you have in writing. What it implies is that if you have, um. Eight, for example, eight in your tax two. Multiply by two, that's 16. What do you have in one? If you have six in one, six, maybe you didn't do one very well, you're very poor, you have six. Eight plus eight, 16. 16 plus six, that's 22. 20 divided by, by three, because if you divide everything by three, is what? Who can calculate that for me? That's a seven or a seven point five. You are it's like drawing close to seven point five. Okay, so it I I I, I don't say I'm not saying you don't do your past one very well. But once it's twenty minutes, and you now make one mistake, tell the mistake I'm coming. You go to task two, finish it, cross check your work, make your task two is sand, then come back to task one, then you know. <laughs> 7.33, all right. Now, and then you come back to task one and then you deal with it, all right? Don't allow one, you know, I tell you this thing because it happened to me four times, so I spent, for all the times I did, I, I did, I, before I started, I spent at least 35 minutes on task one, 35 minutes. There was one time I spent 40 minutes, 40. And I was, you know, I, when, when, when it was time for task two, I was start rushing task two. Imagine I spent 20 minutes on that two and I was rushing. I was able to try and run, but of course, you can't read your work, you can't plan, you can't do anything, you just writing spontaneously. Thank you, sir. So I, 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 I want to plead with you. Let your um, I mean, try to ensure that you spend the normal time on tax one, 20 minutes, bam, then move to tax two, spend your 40. Don't, if you spend that five minutes on task two, it's fine. Then you have use three or five minutes to come back to task one and add anything you want to add. I know that that is a wisdom that you must apply. And of course, task two is simpler. It's simpler. You need to really calm down and understand how task two is really worked out. I want to locate a question. I saw a question. On my on my email on my on my email and I that question fascinated me a lot. If you can give me a few seconds, I want to just throw that question to us as a as a as a kind of um, 
uh, a, a kind of initial, initial, uh, uh, if you like call it explosion or bomb, just, just let us see this question. Then, when you see this question, I want you to tell me what you feel as, as, as you have seen the question. Now, you need to understand something about if you don't understand, if you don't understand the question, seven is not going to happen. Because the understanding of the question is the source of your, of, 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 of your structure. Okay? If you don't understand the question, seven cannot happen. These things are not magic. They don't work by magic. You just have to understand the question compulsively as a matter of compulsion. Now, I'm trying to see, okay, I think I'm, I'm on my main now. I'm trying to see if I can quickly open up and copy and paste. But while I'm waiting for that, it is time, see, if you want to pass IELTS, there are some points you should pay attention to. Number one, reading. Number two, task two. Task one is a distraction. Now, I'm not saying you should not read task one, but if task one is giving you a problem, eh? The cocoa is just 150 words. I'm making sure right overview. Once you write that one, you don't do. Move to task one and task two. Task two, you should give more attention to task two than anything because it's going to really pay off. It's going to pay off. So um, if you have not actually uh, uh, been doing that, this is the time. So I want to copy this question. To us. And I want uh, us to meditate about, just think about it. We will come back to this question later. We will come back to it later, but I'll just think about it. I'm, I'm going to put it on the, on the chat room now. And then I was told that this is a question of the 5th of June. I think that should be, fifth or two should be a Saturday. Yeah. So this is a live question. This, this is the last week, last I that they wrote on Saturday, last Saturday. This is the question. Uh, and since I speaking, the question but is, is, is it gave me some, some, some first people's. Uh, now, if you know the answer, answer. If you don't know the answer, don't worry. It's not easy. All right. This is the question. This is the question. So, the, 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 no, so, so what I'm, I'm now asking is, for this kind of question, is it, <laughs> now for those who have been exposed to all manner of thoughts, is this a opinion essay or an idea essay? You just try to answer them. Now, <laughs> but, this is quite funny. Now, I'd like you to tell me, if you're telling me any answer, tell me your reasons. Just tell me your reasons. Don't just say opinion and belief. It's opinion and say because. Now, we have, not, we have not done anything, we have no class yet. We are still, everybody, and I know that we don't know anything, but for those who have been exposed to something like that. Now, if you say it's opinion and say, which kind of opinion and say? Is it the discussion essay? Don't worry if you don't know what I'm saying, don't worry. But this question, if you know the, this, the way the question is doing, is looking at or some people. Mm. It's like, <laughs> I will do with you. <laughs> All right. Now somebody said, is the opinion essay because it's asking for your opinion or ideas? Ah. And wow. I don't understand that answer. Because idea is it to ask for ideas. I dare say also ask why idea. All right, so opinion is a discussion. Um, idea because of who? Because they said who she found. Just opinion because they require our thoughts. All right, thank you, everybody. Now, can you tell me how you will approach it? Are you going to be writing? Um, the, uh, if you say it's discussion essay, for example, what is the first? What will be your first paragraph? 
all right, thank you for all this discussion. Now, if you said this discussion, say, what's been your first paragraph? What's been your second paragraph? What's been your conclusion? So, I think I'm waiting for that now. You say it's discussion, you say, what to be, now the question I say is, you discuss the two points and give your opinion, happy. Abi? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So I, 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 I will leave it where it is now. And then we'll continue. Don't worry. We will come back to this. So now let's move to drop to the essay proper. We have general work now. What will be your first body paragraph? Hmm. Can see answers. <laughs> no worry. Thank you, everybody. Let's move to. Let's move to the real lesson. To the real action. We will come back to it. Now, this is question of last week Friday, last Saturday. I don't know whether anybody can, whether you know anyone that wrote the exam. But no problem. I think we are, we now, I think this is reality now. We call it reality show. IS exam, reality show one. <laughs> All right. So let's move. Don't worry, we'll get to this. We'll get back to this. Right, now, so let's move to opinion essay. All right? Opinion essay is in two parts. Now, opinion actually is... Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, I cannot, you know... <laughs> This <laughs> see, but so people still book. Somebody still book today, today, this today. So, oh, please, somebody should have me copy and paste that question, please. Thank you for oh, us. Uh, for oh, uh, I just came this. Thank you. So, open essay is asking for your thought system. They are asking for your thoughts. See, there are many ways people. People um, discuss about this thing. Me, I believe in understanding in a very simple way. In opinion essay, they're asking for your thoughts. They're asking for your thoughts. They're asking for your feeling. They're asking for your for your for your for the way. If, if they're asking for your, your 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 your, it's like involving you in this matter. All right, and opinion essay comes in two ways. Now, maybe by the time I explain this one, you you be able to have the questions because we come we come back to this question actually. All right, I wish we can just do it opinion to, and finish it off today. And if you cannot do that, no problem. It's okay. We always move we move on on Wednesday. But get this clear: opinion is asking your thoughts. Tell us your thoughts. Tell us your feel. Tell us your mind. What do you think? All right. And they come in three formats. But before I talk about that three formats, there are two categories of opinion essay. Ah. I, please, if you if you if you can see the question, kindly help me place it again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't know why people are not seeing it. It's, it's strange sort of. All right. So opinion essay is 
in two parts. One, the one where you are made to make a choice. You are to make a choice. The second one, you are to give your thoughts. The one where you are to make, 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 make a, a choice is called viewpoints. What's your view? What's your view? The, the ones where you are to um, um, give your thoughts, you will have to discuss the views on ground before you give your thoughts. So the one that is involving making a choice is called viewpoint. Just write it down as I'm saying it. The one that involves making a choice is called viewpoint. The one that involves your thoughts is called discussion. Your thoughts. What is your opinion? What's your thoughts? What do you think about this? Now, let me give you questions of types for these categories I mentioned. Questions of types that we can see. Now, the one that has to do with viewpoint, that is, make a choice. They will give you choices. Let me give an example. Some people say cigarette is bad. Why some say cigarette is good? Do you agree or disagree? The question say, do you, to what extent do you agree or disagree? So you are making, there's an all factor. There's an all factor here. And then there's a third form of the question, which is the most confusing. They will say, does the positive outweighs the negative? Or do you think the positive outweighs the negative? Do you agree or disagree? Do, to what extent do you agree or disagree? Does the positive outweigh the negative? That is on the side of making a choice. So there is a all factor. Now for discussion essay, where well, you are asked your opinion, the question often comes in very conflicting manner. Sometimes they will mention the issue involved. They will now say this, they will now ask you to discuss the two points and give your opinion. Sometimes they will not even say discuss the two points, they will just say, what is your opinion? Okay. Other time, like the one we just saw just saw now. They will say, what do you think? What do you think is your opinion? What do you think about the matter? Mention or speak about what you think about the matter. But there's one key issue about discussion and essay. They won't ask you to make a choice. They will only ask you your thoughts about your choice. They will not ask you to make a choice. They will only ask you your thoughts about your thoughts, your choice. What do you think? You are free. So you can decide to have a totally different opinion about the two points. You can decide to match the two points together. All right, whereas in, in um, 
<laughs> in opinion viewpoint essay, you must make a choice. You must pick a point. Is anybody getting anything about this question now? In one, they will ask you, what do you think? In the second one, they will ask you, do you think this is this or that is that? Do you think, do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you, so the, this one, the you of who or what is not involved. What is involved is, do you think this is that or that is that? So it's a matter of whether you are making a choice here or a choice here. But for the second one, the issue of who? Who do you think? Or what do you think? It's not, it's, 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 it's the focus. What do you think about this? So it's an it's a, it's a open check. What do you think? Then you can decide, all right, I think the two is good. You can decide, all right, I think this one is good. You can say, all right, these two, it's not good. But you have an open check of choice. All right? Now, in this question, you are given a free opportunity to make a choice, but you're also given an option. So, there are two issues here. You are given a choice, yet you are told to make a choice. That's conflicting. You are, you are given, all right, what do you think? You are now told, all right, what do you think should, or who do you think should do this among this and this? So it's a combination, and this is a real question. It's a combination of a discussion essay and a viewpoint essay. It's very real. And I tell you the truth, you will not find this kind of question many times, but you should be prepared for it. Now, I've also seen questions where they matched a form of discussion essay with idea essay, but don't let us go to that yet. The issue now is, if you, are, if you meet this kind of question in the exam, how do you approach it? The question is that you first of all make your choice. Okay, I think individuals and private companies should fund research. Or I think individuals and government should fund research. Or I think um, private companies and government should fund the search. So that would be your first approach. That is your thesis statement. So let, I'm, I, I'm trying to deal with that now. You answer the question directly. Then you, the body will now base will be based on your answer. You will tell us the pros of your of your thoughts and possible negative thoughts, thoughts from your thoughts too. What are the negative is from your thoughts? Then you now give your conclusion. So now let's put our side. Let 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 me go back to what we are dealing with, viewpoint essay, which is the first thing I want us to trash tonight. Let me tell you two things we discuss right now. One, we'll be talking about the framework. I, I believe you're all nurses. If you're not a nurse, I, I think you should, I, I should apologize ahead of time. I'm talking about the anatomy, that is the structure of Viewpoint SC. How should it flow? Then I will not be moving to the physiology. That's the function, which is not necessarily function anyway. I rather call it the useful language, the life. What can you put down that we cut, that we cut the attention of your examiner? That will make your examiner to sit down and read your work. Useful language, the framework. That even after this, you know, sometimes. People write, people have wonderful structure. I have the structure that they read it. The things they write in that structure, we make the designer to want to vomit. Because it, it is not 
it's, it's not it's not having a very neat or we like a mature form of English. The English they are not mature, so they don't say, "Ah, what is one writing?" All right. So let's move on. There are four facets of a viewpoint essay. One, introduction. Two, body paragraph. And of course, it could be, it could be two body paragraphs. Three, concession. Concession. Four, conclusion. Conclusion. How would you get that place? Please, if you got what I just said, send a message. Let me just say hi or something. All right. So, under introduction, the focus is you want to bring the examiner into the in, 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 into the know of what you are dealing with. On the introduction, you want to allow the examiner to know, all right, this is what I'm dealing with, this is my approach, this is, this is what I, I'm after today, all right? Now, and by so doing, you need to give a general view to what you want to write, general view. And that general view is called neutral statement. That general view is called neutral statement, okay? So neutral statement is the first thing you are going to write. I will tell you the framework later. I'd like you to just hold on and let us get the full gist of this thing before I start giving you um, details about this and that and that, okay? General view is called neutral statement. Number two, we have what we call the background statement. Now, if you see very mature essays, you won't be able to see the difference between the two. You won't see the difference. You just see that the way they write is such a way that you'll be wondering which one is neutral, which one is general, which one is... Everything will just be so smoothly fused with each other. Very, you know, uh, 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 synchronized into one. Okay? So, general view, um, no trust, I mean, which is statement, then we have background statement. Background statement is the, is the paragraph paraphrase. I mean, it's the question paraphrase. When you try to make the, you, know, you try to write the question in another way that is still meaning the same thing, okay? It's a way to let us know that you understood the question properly. And then the third thing is thesis statement, which is often the direct answer to the question your direct answer to the question. It's like the exact way you are going to, I mean, what exactly you are being asked, you're trying to give a simple answer to it. That's your statement. And then the last thing is your, your outline statement. Everything is statement, outline statement. It's a way of trying to like, Tell the examiner, this is what I am going to be talking about in this essay. This is what I'm going to be saying. This mm. essay will discuss this mm. or that. Please give mm. me a second, just a few seconds, please.
All right, I'm sorry for that little interruption. So I said um, in a neutral statement, what's this one? If you know, you try to them. Then we have thesis statements, and then we have, what's the next one? Outline statements. Thesis statements. Thank, Thank you. So, not that one. These are just practical structures, you know. And I don't look at Outline statements. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. That one is N E U. Okay. Thank you. So, um, let's 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 fire on. Now, I have a framework that I like our body to flow by. And the framework goes like this. Now, before I talk about the framework, note this: your I, your paragraph for any essay you are writing in under tax two should carry two ideas. Write it down. My my paragraph must carry at least two ideas, and at most three ideas. My paragraph must carry at least two ideas. At least three ideas. Now. Paragraphs are also known as reasons. Reasons. Okay. Paragraphs are known as reasons. Now, if you look at any typical question that you are faced with, they will, they will always write something like, um, um, and give reasons from your personal experience and all that. Give examples from personal experience. Write reasons for, I don't know if you can help me get any question around. That last phrase they used to write, they used to talk about reasons. That is, it's not just one reason. You must write at least more than one reason. Now, some have argued that you should write one reason and break it into three, into different pieces. But in my opinion, if you write two reasons in one single paragraph, you are fine. There is no cause for alarm. All right. So, um, moving on. If I've said that every of your essay or every of your reason must start with what I call a topic sentence. And your topic sentence must be as, as clear as crystal because it is what is going to welcome your examiner. And by the time your examiner is reading your topic sentence, and then after he uses his eyes to it to look at look, 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 he didn't see topic sentence. He keeps seeing the other storyline. Uh, five, five, like like three three sentences into one, and it's not sure what what to say. He did not use the first glass. He didn't see the third, you know, second glass, third glass. Ah, that means that person doesn't have something interesting. You know, you must you must be very clear and sharp. After a topic sentence, it's what we call explanation. Explanation. Then after explanation, you have example. Then after example, you have. Evidence, but instead of saying evidence, instead of writing evidence, it's better you could talk, go to your second reason. Now, this is what I wanted to tell, tell us about. He said, Give reasons for your answers. For your answer, give reasons, reasons for your answer, and include any relevant examples from your knowledge or experience. So the issue is, you must be able to at least elaborate at least two reasons or three in your paragraph to satisfy that question. So from your example, you move to your second topic sentence, and then you give, a, you give an explanation and an example too, but you can match it together into one sentence. And then you have your effect or your evidence or your link, link conclusion or concluding link. It's just a way to round off that particular sentence. And many of the time, it is good that your effect or evidence links you back to the topic. 
that is he's trying to give a proof that what I'm saying is not outside of this topic. All right. So I've all said that um, under the circumstances of a of a uh, uh, viewpoint essay, you move to your concession. But if you are still having more points to write, once you write a third point, you can create a third paragraph, uh, a second body paragraph to write that third point. And you could also add it to the, the main paragraph you are writing because you can write three points in the paragraph without any problem. But if you are not comfortable writing three points, you cannot write a third paragraph to conclude your point. In that paragraph, we have topic sentence, ex explanation, example, evidence, straight on like that, full stop. Then you now move to your concession. Now, concession is one sentence. Write it down. Concession is one sentence that specifically focuses on the, um, the viewpoint of the, of, of the opponent or the viewpoint of people that don't agree with your points. It's focused on the viewpoint of people that don't, doesn't agree with your points. And a sentence or a statement that negates that viewpoint. For example, the issue of smoking. Yes, I said you write an effect. You write an effect. I said, if you are going to write it, a second paragraph, it should go straight. Topic sentence, or which is your reason or idea, as explanation, um, explanation, thank you very much, sir. Explanation, example, effect it should be complete. What I was just saying is that if, if you're going to write in two reasons or two ideas, let's just have one effect that covers the two. If you're writing one, let have one effect that covers the two. Don't just um, leave uh, an essay without an effect. Make sure you have an effect. All right, so I will say that um, I want to move on to, I've, I've talked about concession now. You speak about a major point that negates that view of your opponents. Your opponents will say uh, it is good to smoke because uh, it, will, it will make the boy to be warm during winter. What is the effect of the essay? Okay, what is the effect? Uh, well, the effect is also known as like an evidence. It's, it's like a, a word to prove that all what I've been saying is true. Just a sentence to prove that, okay, all what I've been saying is true. That based on what I've been saying, you can agree. You know, if you're doing an, an essay, I mean, a kind of, a kind of a competition, and then, you know, you are trying to like prove a point to your, to your, to your opponent. You see, like with the fellow of you have said, I think I've now, I have now convinced you, but I can now convince you in a certain kind of thing. So that's what, that's, uh, that line is called the effect. And it's concluding your body paragraph one. Okay. Or if you get that for the paragraph two, so it's not concluding it. So then, concession. Now, I want to say that you don't have to have a, a, a two body paragraphs that will be dealing with the, the issue. You can have one. They have a concession. Now, some people believe that in this kind of estate, you should also write a full, um, a full uh, 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 paragraph opposing yourself. No, it's not true. Just write a concession, uh, which is just a word, a, a sentence that is, is kind of showing what your opponent would say or could, could, could feel is a reason why they are not agreeing with you, okay? Then a sentence to now negate them. That is the major way that um, you write your concession. It's just a, a sentence actually, but it's a complex sentence because the word however is in between, okay? So then you have a conclusion. The conclusion is the paraphrase of your outline and a restatement of your of your own opinion. The paraphrase of your outline and the restatement of your opinion. The paraphrase of your outline 
and then reinstating of your opinion. So that is all about opinion. That is uh, human anatomy of uh, opinion viewpoints. Okay. So I, I, I see a few questions. Let me see. Uh, should your no no your question should have an example. You should just have just that those that those two statements into one sentence. For all essay, it's actually not for it's for opinion viewpoint essay. Opinion viewpoint essay. It's for opinion viewpoint essay. Okay. Now I think um I don't know whether anybody has a question from this. We are just done now. Um I like to um, talk about the relevant words you can use on each of these aspects. We put the last point on concession. And I said it's the opponent's point of view, point of view, and a statement to knock it out. Like people believe smoking is good because it makes you to have a high sense of yourself. But research have shown that smokers will die prematurely. That's a knockout. It's a knockout. Full stop. No need for Indiana no. Okay. Only no for that. Okay, so um, we can move to um, useful languages that you can apply in dealing with this kind of essays quickly. Useful language you can apply. Now, um, whenever you see any opinion viewpoint essay, it is a bonus. The reason is because you will be required to only deal with one, uh, one, one aspect very fully. So don't waste the opportunity. Take the aspect, trash it very well, get a lot of points involved write it out and you know get your mind on the fact that you are going to really do very well now let me now talk about how do you introduce your essay that is what are the kind of words that you need to, i mean that you will um that you'll be able to use to start up your essay and get um a very good score let's start with interest statements now there are three ways you can trash interest statements based on the three questions that have been asked. Okay? Now, if you are feeling tired about this class, <laughs> so that I will not just be talking on, oh no, it's, it's, it's on record anyway, so that I can watch it later. So, how do you trash it? Look at it this way. Look at the kind of words you can write or you can use. Okay? You can use collocations. And it's a way to like draw the attention of the examiner to what you want to say that this issue is a serious issue. Now look at the first one. There is a widespread concern about that's number one. There's a widespread concern about so and so. Then you can also say there is a universal consensus that this and this is that and that. That is depending on the kind of question you are, ask, you are, you are asked. You can also say, recently, or now at this, or in recent times, or in the world today. Okay? Any of those four, you can use any of those four. There has been widespread arguments or debate or controversy. Widespread argument, debate, controversy about this topic, about this subject, or about this topic or this subject of discussion, okay? 
All right. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Okay, you give the first the one that's question. Write in the question about that question. Now the question that is posted said, uh, uh, let, me, let, let, let me see the question again. Please let everybody give in terms of the question without question. Let, let, okay, let's even read now. Very good. Now it's not it's not a, a viewpoint uh, very specifically. But let's let's give a interesting to this. In the world today, there have been arguments or there have been widespread arguments about the subject of medical research. That is what I'm saying here. Or about the subject of medical uh, treatments or about the subject of um just you that pick research but of course because it's medical you can have to you have to mention medical you have to mention either, either medical research or you can also that's it those are two words you can mention okay that's that's all right so let's let, let, let's draft it draft it like that we are going to write the questions to this time all right let's as you just say a, a viewpoint essay. Okay, so you can also say it's um, it's generally accepted. Ah, government. Ah, that question does say government too. Ah, okay, this is better. Just that that consensus consensus is not is not is not accurate. Consensus. C O N. Okay. C O N S E N S U S. Yeah, it's a nice, there's a little noise around there. Okay. Recently, the subject of medical research has been a source of, has been a source of debate in communal circles. That's another one I just talked about now. Can I have some more questions? All right. Now let me move straight on to the second aspect, which is tenses. Ah, that one just fell from my mouth. New. Okay. So recently, medical research or the subject of medical research has been a source. Of widespread, widespread, widespread concern is easier said than widespread debate because debate may not be what the, the, the semantics for widespread debate is still doesn't click. The, the, the word medical research, I would prefer that we say there has been a debate. Debate is more, or argument is more, argument is more worthy to be used. I don't know whether you get my point now. Because sometimes you have to really think about the appropriate nature of the words you are using. So that you don't just use a word that is, maybe as if you, are, you, are, you, are, as if you cram, or as if you are trying to cram something. One has to really like look at how these things flow, so that one doesn't end up you know, getting into trouble, because it doesn't seem to tally. Okay? So I, I, I personally prefer the word um, debate. Okay, medical research has been a subject of debate among communal circles, or among. In recent times, there has been a widespread argument on who is to fund research. In medical treatment. Ah, this is beautiful, but don't, don't let me say it out here. Now, I, 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 let, let's let's talk about. <clears throat> I, I'll come back to that. Please keep, keep it coming in, please. Let's go to the thesis and to the background statement. Now, background statement is paraphrase of the question. Now, let us paraphrase this question simply. Now, I said something that a very. Oh, let me not, not, not a very. A well, a well fused, better put, a well fused neutral, neutral statement and background statement will give you a beautiful background 
Let's not A beautiful welcome to a seven, to a bad seven. Like the one we just saw now. If you are able to properly fuse your interest statements and your bank statements without any error, you are already drawing closer to a seven. A seven is already becoming at you. Because already you have shown a very big mastery in grammar. Now look at the one I saw that I think I like. I think I like what I just saw about that. It's quite interesting. It looks very, very neat. Because one thing again is you must avoid clumsy grammar, clumsiness. Don't uh, anything that is going to make your work to be to be that they are now studying and they are, and it's already causing like the uh, as if the 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 thought system is. I mean, your mouth is already feeling like there is a there is a trip around uh, error. Okay, the recent time there has been a widespread argument on who is to fund research in medical in order to increase health and prevent treatment. Now, uh, a fear we have is the, are this was in the question. If they're in the question, then um, fight disease treatment. Okay, very good. That's that's not a bad one, All right? So, um, let us try to see how we can do this together. Can you fuse the neutral statement together with um, the thesis statement? And let me see what you bring. Um, together with your background statement, let me see what you're going to bring out of it for that particular question. Okay? Some people are already getting it right. So it's good that you actually fuse it together so that you can have a very beautiful snapshot. Now, let's talk about the thesis statement now. It is the direct answer to the question. And uh, it is important that you try to make it passive. If you are asked a question that does not involve you, if the question does not involve you, make it passive. If it involves you, if it involves you, ah, there's no space for camera pasting here. The question is, uh, can somebody help me replace that question, please? All right. So back to what I was saying. If there's a you involved, you will need to answer the question directly. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So if, if a U is involved, you will have to answer directly. But if a U is not involved, please answer passively. I will teach you how, how to do it soon. Now, for direct answer, questions like, do you agree or disagree? There's a U involved, okay? You simply say, I agree or I believe or I think, okay? that then you now answer your question that so and so and so should be studies you know so i think this is what you are saying so already deviating from because they said okay should be okay studies of medical should be funded by beautiful i give a clap i believe i agree now now let me say something if you say in my opinion, you don't have to repeat I believe you. Let me, I, I don't know what that, you get that. You can, you can just say in my opinion, okay, studies, like it's like you're repeating yourself again. In my opinion, studies into medical treatment should ought to be funded by, because that my opinion already said, that, that's what you're going to think about, think about it. Now, if it is saying, to what extent do you agree? Now you can now say, I strongly agree, I firmly agree, or I firmly believe, okay, I strongly agree, I firmly believe, or I strongly believe, or I firmly believe, okay? That what should be there, if there is an extent question, okay? Thank you for this. It's like Mr., I don't know the answer for the Osari Eme. Thank you for uh, your attempts. I, I want others to attempt, see, if you don't practice this thing, <laughs> it's not a job for somebody's hand, though. No. 
ah, I will advice that I want to give you is please, if you can, avoid partial belief, avoid it because you will put yourself in a long rope. The long rope is that you need to say a lot of things, and that is going to give you more work. Already, the, the, the work is already simple. Just pick one side, hammer it, just let the condition end. Don't give yourself on there unnecessary one now. All right. Okay, so I was talking about um, what now? Please remind me. Test statements. Okay. Now, other ways you can write a test statement when you are told to, uh, when the word you is not involved, the word you is not mentioned. Please write this down. The benefits of the benefit of this approach appears to be overwhelmingly positive. That's a way you can put your thesis statement. Then you can say it is an inescapable fact. Okay, please let's keep it on, keep it coming. I would like to correct something, but please, if, if you really are in this class, write, write your Write your neutral statement fused with your background statement and your thesis statement. Okay, thank you. I, I like us to just drop something down and send the chat room. Okay, you can also say this idea will surely be unacceptable, would surely be unacceptable to most people. That means you are saying most people will disagree strongly. This idea will surely be unacceptable to most people. Those are other frameworks you can use in writing your thesis statements. Okay? So, um, dealing, with, dealing with the second aspect, <coughs> which is talking about, um, I mean, the last time we talking about outline statements. The outline statements actually is strictly telling the examiner what you are going to do what you are going to do this essay will discuss the reasons why that 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 whether it is whether are reasons why government should or independent government should and that was a fund to sponsor the whatever, 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 whatever. Okay. This essay, now if you are dealing with a general, a, 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 a extent, extent question, there is a, there is a, there is a complex adjective you need to add. This essay will discuss why it is absolutely necessary that governments, it is absolutely necessary that government should sponsor whatever, 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 whatever. Okay? So, everybody, can we draft? Now, that's last thing I said. Everybody can adopt it. I don't have another way I can ask you to write it except what I just said now. But you can also, you, some people don't write it in their own essay, but I feel you should add it up to your essay. Now, some people will now say, what if I mention the exact reasons? What if I mention the exact reasons? That's what I'm going to say that. I think I, I, I can mention, okay, this essay will discuss the reasons, namely, uh, so, and so, and so, and so and so and so and so. Why? government should sponsor. But what I've observed again is sometimes <laughs> it could be it, it could enter trouble because it gets clumsy. And when, it get, when it gets clumsy, there's a problem. And problem is grammatical error comes in, this guy issues comes in, and then you are you are stuck. So best bet, try to just go simple. If it's going to guarantee your score, why not? Okay? So, um, 
I'm not seeing people writing again. It's like people have stopped writing. In my in my in my view, okay. <laughs> I've said you should not repeat that the factor I I twice. The factor I, in my view I. Why don't just say in my view? But then another thing again is that please can we possibly um, limit the number of words you're going to use when it comes to talking about your opinion? Or your thoughts. If you're going to say, in my opinion, all right, let it just be statically in my opinion. All right, I think that's better. In my opinion, in my opinion is better. Are you saying times comma? Please, let's put comma in front there. Studies into medical measures have been a topic of discussion. Ah, discussion here is the issue. Topic of controversy is so, so, let, let me say subject of controversy. Ends should be funded by the government. Ah, already you have given your opinion here. Ah, uh, well, um, let me say that if I will advise, don't fuse your thesis with your background. Leave your neutral and background together is no let the thesis have its clarity so that the examiner can know exact points you are dealing with without struggle okay can we have more coming in i believe the net the grant work into medical ah this grant work it's medical grant work is giving me concern i believe the grant work should be funded by the government organization okay i I believe, okay. The grand work, the grand work is a little issue for me. I'm not sure I want to agree with that. Okay. I opine that medical studies should be should be funded by government and private organizations. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. All right. So can we have more so that we can know that we are together with this? Let's see if we can have more. Write something. Don't say, ah, me and still no, write something else. Let's see everybody attempt to write something out. I like to have people who have already given their points. It's a good attempt. It's a good attempt. So, but just note that if I were you, I'm going to fix now. Somebody, I don't feel like explore. Uh, it's okay. No problem. It's fine. But if I were you, <clears throat> I'm going to have a fixed way of attending to my essay, fixed. Uh, as in, that, natural, natural. That, that's like, if I write essay, one essay, 10,000 times, I write that same way. Why? By doing so, I will adapt myself to a system of writing that I can remember if I just woke up from sleep. Because I have too many things to think about that to be thinking of the, the English that he writes. So let me have a, a pattern that I'm used to permanently. Can I use instrument do instead of grab work? Like a template. Sorry, Mr. Osari, uh, uh, Mr. Osari, uh, please can you tell me what you mean? I don't get the question you're asking, please. Okay. Okay, I think you said someone asked somebody there. So, I have, the, I have a framework that is, that is 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 known to you, and and more or less a natural system that anytime anytime they wake you up, bam, come and write, you'll be able to write something tangible, and without struggling to think. And that there's ways to solve medical challenges which will improve health and well-being. No, no, no. Get my point. You are already telling from this particular statement, you are telling us who should sponsor it. And that is not the question. The question, let me read the question else. 
the question was saying, the question was saying, research into medical treatment are essential to improve F and fight disease. That's the question. Not who should sponsor. This, the, 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 the sponsor is now your own response to the question, which is now, who do you think we sponsor? All right? Essentially for an improved status on the place, which will be asked, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. no, no. You have not clarified the question. Before you talk about who is who do you think you agree, you must let your question be clear. You must have a your question must be specifically written. Now, okay, this is my question. And then you now talk about which one you agree. I, the other part is okay. I strongly believe that government should be solely responsible for sponsoring medical research. Okay, so so that the general health of the whatever could be asked. Now your advertisement. This essay will discuss. All right, why I think or why it is why it is necessary for government. Hello, sorry for the interruption, please. Okay. I'd like us to get what exactly I'm trying to say so that you don't <laughs> have a larger scale missing. Because if you don't get this thing clearly, the problem that happens is that you find yourself in a, in a, in a kind of fix. When, when you get to the exam, there's a lot of product that comes around in the exam. Okay, there's a universal consensus that health is wealth. And in order to improve health and healthcare diseases, researching in medical is, is necessary. Beautiful one. I think both individual and government should support this financially. This essay will discuss the, the reasons. Now, while you say this essay will discuss the reasons why. Um, Ah, I believe I believe so may not be too simple. Remember the we we're talking about the issue about formal language. Why I believe is uh, why I believe so may be looking too simple. So I, I will encourage that we use more heavy, uh, uh, not heavy, more mature word. This is a discuss the reasons why uh, it is important and it's necessary for sponsorship of 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 uh, uh, research issues or sponsorship of, of research dealings or not dealings but of research by governments and individuals. You can repeat the word government and individuals. Oh, sorry, but let me see your own. Uh, I didn't see it. Okay, there's a wider concern about whose responsibility it is to fund research. No, not necessarily because the question that started talking about responsibility. It was this idea that it's just that actually did that with this. Uh, I, I, I like us to note that that's this are where issues come back. The question itself said, the, the question it said itself was talking about the importance. I, I, I don't know whether you get my point. The importance of okay, the importance, not not yet saying. Who is sponsoring? Who is not sponsoring? Okay. Now let's write this question down. Okay, let me just copy it. Now let's drop that question and let's do this one. I just think we should understand this part well before I just continue. Because by the time I say many things, people will not even go out and say it. Let me just send this. Now let's stand. This is a very typical uh, 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 opinion viewpoint essay. So let's let's do with this. Everybody, we have um, quite a number of minutes uh, left.
All right. So can you see my question, please? Ah, sorry, you. The question only went to somebody. Sorry, sorry. Oh my, oh my. All right, I think everybody should see the one. All right, so let's do this quickly. This is just a five minutes. All right. Now at this, there is a contentious argument. <laughs> See beautiful movie. Over whose responsibility it is to form medical research. Well, there is no argument now. But don't worry about it anymore. Let's let's do this question because the question actually was not there, it was argument initially. It was only Tess's idea that came up with argument. Now, notwithstanding, let's focus on the question I just said now, and let's see how we can deal with it. In the future, people may have to live in other planets, something that it is something that's something there that is therefore important. But I think there's a topographical right? something that it is therefore important to spend money researching other planets such as mass to what extent do you agree or disagree Okay, some people already answered the question. In my honest opinion, please move down next. Move down next. Ah, I, 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 I talk about impersonal statement too. Never be emotional. Never have any emotion. And please, while you are writing, try to write everything as a block, not different blocks. Now, like this one now, you are writing it in different blocks. Write it. That way, in my opinion, should be directly in front of. Disease, not after. Uh, I've pasted the question. Please, can everybody see the question I pasted, please? Please, can everybody see the question I pasted? I pasted the question already. Eh, 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 eh. Or should we make it an assignment? Eh? Ah. Well, people are not answering, no, no. Okay, so let's answer it right here. Let's let's assess it. Now let's let's assume we are two days today, and then we are trying to assess our, whether we have learned anything or not from what we have um, discussed together. Okay, so on the basis of that, um, uh, we want us to write this out so that we can know if we have learned anything today. Or we just um, uh, did not really get what I was trying to say. Now, the belief there is belief, F, not V, E. Okay? Typographical error is e an issue in ice. If you want to send any question, vet it and be sure that there are no typographical errors. Now, ma, the, uh, Mrs. Ola Tola, Olutola. What you just wrote here is is only um, you just wrote only the topic. I mean, the neutral statement and the thesis and the bagger statement. Nothing more. So it's like you limited yourself to only neutral and background. Because this, there might be a reason it's not pointing whether you strongly agree or not. So you might need to reshape in that aspect. And I said, never write, I will, I will, I will encourage that you don't um, add up your test statements as part of your, I mean, I, I mean as, as, a, as a complex sentence that is joined with your background statement. Write it differently. 
I will give my counsel on that. Write it a bit differently. Let that be a, on a different time. Now, uh, Kenny, write the whole introduction, not just what you are doing. Then after I strongly agree that there's no comma, just go on. I strongly agree that it is important for you to spend money for to spend money in such other projects such as mass because they are that the issue about this again is we seem to have repeated the question word for word. We might also need to possibly consider paraphrasing some words too. So, right? What up? Sorry, I'm, I'm marrying you. If I'm married, then there should be next work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not from the number of people on, 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 on class today, not many people are responding to the assignment. We have opportunity, there are not really much, but at least I expected more responses. I'm still not impressed with the things I'm saying. I think there should be more than this. There should be more than this. Now, your thesis can stay on its own. Please take note of that. Your thesis can stay on its own. There's no crime if your thesis has to stay on its own. That's, that's it. Being a simple statement, not linking with other statements, is allowed. There's no crime, no problem at all. Okay. So let me read out. Yes, can I get a question again? The first. Okay. Somebody help me post the question again, please. There's a general. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now at this, there has been. Okay, it's being posted now. Now, at the, there, are, there has been a controversy that in the nearest future, in the, in the nearest future, comma, individuals may have to live in another planet like us. Therefore, more money ought to be spent on research into other planets. I strongly agree with this statement because the Earth is big enough. This essay is going be my uh, Mr. Osari Remy. This is going to give you a low band score because your your neutral statement come your bagage statement was not paraphrased enough. But I will not criticize it yet. Where I have the problem is. I strongly disagree with these statements. I rather prefer that you mention, you paraphrase that statement. You know, I strongly disagree that, okay, you now tell us what, what you decide, what, what you disagree, strongly disagree on. And then this essay will discuss the reasons why, you know, it is not, it is not, it is, it is completely un, uh, unnecessary or it is a distraction. Or it is it is an absolute distraction to you know to uh, waste for that money taking the trip to the mass. I think that should be fine because you must make your points tangible enough for your examiner without having to fear. Now I like to know what is causing some conflict here. We have have given some framework for uh, our neutral statement. All we just need to do is paraphrase the question. I try to paraphrase the question, then fuse it with the words, the kind of words I give, um, the options I give, give a full stop. Then the next thing is now to write out um, your um, um, thesis statements, like you did here. Okay. I strongly disagree. No, please write everything in full. If you write it partially, in my opinion, you are trying to dodge the effect of letting you to see your full introduction. Okay? 
I strongly disagree that people should spend money on researching. Can't you find another one for researching? There is a universal excitement. Ah, excitement. Ah, excitement, excitement, excitement. Let me see. Ah, excitement may not, may not fit in. No? Ah. People may have to leave. No. Excitement does not. Excitement does not flow. Then your in, intro is too short. This is not an intro. This is just like a sentence. It's not. It's too. It's too weak. Okay. Sincerely. Ah. No. See. What's like honestly, sincerely, fantabulous, euphoria, fantastically. It's not allowed denied, so they will just catch your mark straight. You see, it's, it's where we don't get those words, we don't get to use those words. They bring your mark down, okay? So, at the rate at which, ah, this is out of the question. Obusu so choky for the, for the ever, ah, it's already getting emotional now. Because it's not mentioned it inside the question. Let's not paraphrase beyond the question. Okay? The, the, all the things you are saying can be said in the body, but saying it in, the, in your in your in, 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 in may be dice, in, in, in may cause you a bit of a crisis. Okay? So I would prefer that you just keep those information for your essay. Okay, now, now you see what I'm going to do now? I, I, I'm going to stop right now. Okay, and um, I, I, I will be giving us an extra work, or maybe more than more than this. A lot of people think that it's very important to make research. Now, you did write your thesis. No, you did write your interest You just went straight to it. Your paragraph. But nobody paralyzes you. Shall be fine. But I so much here, mm -mm. please let us know when we have been emotional. Strongly is better. Family is better. Strongly is better. Family is better. That, that is so much. Doesn't, that is so much. It's already getting into emotional. There's a debate. Now, on the importance of spending money, researching other planets such as Earth in the future. You are, can disconnect your neutral and your background from your thesis. I will say this over and over again. I think it's okay. Disconnect it. So that's the first of I disagree. Oh, 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 oh. I disagree. Now, this is a question I say to you. To what extent do you agree? So you must not say whether it's strongly or family or disagree. So I strongly agree that you tell us what you strongly agree, uh, agree on or disagree on and then don't tell us the reason yes sir yeah say. i will take place i will take place okay okay like this i strongly agree on or i strongly disagree on if we teach that statement it's not going to be tautology like it's repeating strong? what we have written before and now that's why I said if you are going to repeat it, you're not going to say exactly what you have said. You give a paraphrase of that word. Now, for exactly. example, okay. if you said uh -huh. I strongly agree, you will say I strongly agree that money should be spent on researching on the mass. Mm -mm. You use you use other words or you say it in a way. It, is it a must to use strongly? Ah. Yes, so if they ask you to what extent, you must use strongly. You must use strongly. Or oh, totally must, or completely. Uh, strongly agree should be the first. Or family mm -hmm. agree. Now, why are you not going to okay. be talking about it inside your outline statement? You cannot say, this essay will discuss completely. the reasons why it is completely necessary or why it is, mm. or why, why, why it is absolutely unnecessary or why it is... A, 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 it will amount to a total waste of funds to spend money or to 
to expend finances. Now, you see, the bottom line is you are playing with words even from your from, from the point of your background statement. At your background, you have paraphrased your, your questions using other words. When you move down to your thesis statement, you have also paraphrased or used different verbs or different nouns. Then coming to your outline, you still paraphrased again. Already you have introduced yourself to the examiner as someone that will be able to attend, attend that very well. But if you say, this is why we discuss why this is so, this is why we discuss why, why this is why we discuss, I, I agree to this full stop. That's too short. It's just like, you know, they ask you what's your name, you say, Shola. And they say, ah, no, that's you say nothing. Ah. Or if, if it's an interview, that means that you don't have lack like, uh, um, enough uh, steam to, 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 to probably engage whoever is talking to you. Let me just say, yes. Do you like food? Yes. How about Eba? No. Mm -mm. That is too sharp. So you must let your word be full. Now, honestly, I understand that apparently I'm trying to push us to a kind of extent, but I just believe that it is better that you have a grasp. Now, let me read this one now. It is, universal, it's a, it's a, it is universal, universally believed, believed, believed is appropriate, that in the nearest future, many may opt to live in other planets. This is, this is, this is a paraphrase already. Okay? Why certain, why certain individuals are of the opinion that a lot of money should be allocated I think to this, to that, to this, I think you should be specific on. Uh, the question said, a lot of money should be allocated to researching other planets. Uh -huh. So we should make it clear. Um, now, let me, have, let, let me have to re rephrase this. Okay? It is universally believed that in the nearest future, many, many may opt to live in the other planets. Okay? While certain individuals Sorry, certain individuals are of the opinion that a lot of money should be expended on research for this. Others, others allude it is not necessary because the word, that, if you put a full stop here, while others think is this, then you have to round up the sentence, it is not necessary. Okay, but well, let's leave that at that. I think this is fair. Now, let me just quickly conclude that. I Strongly, we have fused belief. So, no, sorry, I don't know um, where is it again? Wow, oh, I've lost it. Too. Wow, so many images have come in. Okay, I completely disagree. Now, I prefer you strongly. Sorry, I strongly disagree with this statement. Now, this statement for me should be. Like spelled out in the para in another way that is either shorter and simpler or mean the same thing but not saying the same, not using the same words. This essay will discuss the reason why. Now you have said I completely agree. Uh, uh, so you don't have to use I anymore. What this essay will discuss the reasons why it is a total waste of funds to expend money. On, on other planets better, not on other things, because that other things was not referenced in the passage. Okay? Now, it's a general belief that, um, that in next future, it should be vital, vital for studies to be carried out in such a uh, studies. Today you talk about research, okay. It's not to be carried another planet in order to live on, on such as mass. Now, the issue I have is on such as mass seems to be too. That, that, that place has lost, there's a, there's a loss of the, of the uh, grammatical uh, strength. It is often thought that in time to come, humans will live on planets apart from the Earth. Hence, it is it is believed. I, it is believed that funding now. Well, what I would recommend here is fuse that hence it is believed to that sentence. 
Okay. Thus, this is what to fuse it. Maybe as it is believed that frontal research on mass is crucial. That's better. In my opinion, don't repeat I strongly. In my opinion, since you have said in your opinion, don't say I strongly. It is strongly disagreed. Or I it is strongly disagreed, or it is it is ah, this one is already the correct one. In my opinion, don't use my opinion, remove my opinion. I strongly disagree. Okay. As such, money could be used to you already given this is my opinion. Okay, to improve our planet and enhance life. Now let's start talk about your your outline. This essay we discuss, okay. The reasons why, uh -huh. so you complete that one then. But I think this is a good trial. Some people think that now, it's, most of all, not you are, you are not putting the different statement to that. What I observe now, some people think that in the near future, individuals may have to decide on other person as mass, and therefore it is essential to allocate resources to the discovery. Beautiful one, but uh, this is totally agrees. No. It is you that must agree because the person do you agree? Do you, do you, do you agree? So not this essay. You will agree. This essay will discuss. Okay. This I, I strongly agree with the decision of spending money for such discovery. Why does it discuss the reasons better? All right. There is a widespread concern that people will avoid other planets. Therefore, the government must spend money. Finding out planets such as man, beautiful. I completely decide, strongly is better. I, st I strongly disagree that funds should be spent searching for other planets. So, it is because this is why expenditures should, be not, should not be made, you should not, uh, should not be, should not be expended. Okay, I said it should not be, should not be released on the searching of other planets. Not a bad one, though. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Um, just that the typographical errors can be better corrected, but as it's, that, 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 that there's a fear a prior year. Uh, living on other planets in this future is being considered by some people. Okay, therefore, it is argued that spending money to research into other planets is better. Beautiful one. This essay totally. I, I, it's you. Then the essay will now discuss, all right? That's the only issue there. So people think that, I think I will stop here. So people think that people have to live on that planet in the future. On the other hand, others have their opinion that it's therefore paramount. So it's not on the other hand, just continue like that. So people think that, so that therefore it is paramount to spend money on studying on, on other planets that are smart. I think that with the opinion that, with the, with the opinion that funding that planet should be of no benefit, it should explore more about my stance. You will give reasons, not so more reasons in you. No. Your reasons must be clear. Reasons why. Okay, let me ask everybody. Is this is why perfectly okay. This is discuss reasons why. Can we can we use it? Eh? Reason is the same thing with why. This is discuss reasons that Eh? Or is it because why? Reason, you know, why? And uh, and let's let let let's complete the sentence. This is this is discuss the reasons it is. Doesn't I, for me? I, I don't think it's telling you. No. This is discuss the reasons it is necessary. Ah, why is it discuss why it is so? And you better about that it is so. You don't go to back So let's have discuss why. This is why I will I will find it, but in, in my own eyes. Why was, why we why we does it flow? That, that's my issue. But I, I will I will do some little it sounds like tautology. This is why but of course it is it still sounds grammatically correct too. <laughs> so that's the issue. Uh, if you remove that reason or remove why, there is something that you listen. So that's the reason why I I, I feel uh, a bit, you know, shaky about it. So, well, uh, 
we are really spent quite a while of time tonight, and I I, I like you to look at the errors I tried to point out from the essays. I will give us an assignment. Please submit to me directly. Let me correct your assignment directly. I'm going to try and see how how much how how uh uh how much I can go with with just somebody said something now. Said this will put comma at the back of the reasons. Uh, no, you don't put comma at the back, you just go straight to this is why it is why it is necessary or why it is compulsory or why it is totally necessary or whatever. All right. Um, Uh, this, 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 this is too short, please. Please send. Now, everybody that wrote something tonight, try and send to me personally on my either WhatsApp or, 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 or Telegram, but I will get it faster on my WhatsApp. Okay? Uh, and then uh, we will point out the issues that, if you can write your Twitter very well, I think you will do better. Um, if you write, if you get your Twitter very well, you will do. You will open the door of favor because your examiner will fall in love with you. Will like fall in love with you. By the time you write something that looks so strange, it's another person will say, oh, "What was this? What is this one that you know?" And then even if you end up writing something fine, fine. But the bottom line is, let us get our examiners to be um, to to love us at the initial point, so that um, we uh, at least have limited crisis. I think Mr. Osar Yemen is doing something nice. I think I like this. Now, there are some things you write that you will feel happy writing it. You look in it. Okay? So, now, you can always subject what you are doing here to, to other people that we, we know that is doing this thing and then critique, on, critique it. I mean, critique it and then so that you can actually have a better assurance. But I can assure you that whatever I tell you here, Take it to the exam, or you're going to have a seven or seven point five. If you don't uh, take it for granted, I've not had an aid before. I've not had anybody that I thought I had an aid before in IT, but I've had with that seven point five. So I can assure you that uh, we are not just doing it because uh, of a guess guesswork. You, you will have a seven point five if you are that to it sincerely. You would, yes. So um, thank you tonight. Uh, I think we have done the question. Let me allow uh, Mr. Bass to speak to us uh, before we all move out uh, tonight. Please, everybody, kindly send to me. Send to me directly. Uh, we like to. I would like to um, have our thoughts. I think Isabella is a bit busy. So, uh, if he's able to come to fine, but I think we are through tonight. We meet on Wednesday, I'm going to be moving on to the body. And um, I think you should have a nice time Wednesday. Please kindly send to my WhatsApp. Yeah, that's the assignment. Just write, the intro and send to me. Send to my WhatsApp. Well, thank you, everyone. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah. I just heard my name. I was I was attending to, I, I was attending to a few things. I just heard my name. Let me come and say hello. Oh, thank yes. you so, much. so um I think we're we're getting on with the with the with the Zoom and the and the YouTube link. And there are a few people who are joining via YouTube. Those who cannot join via those who cannot join via um Zoom. Zoom. Uh, I just heard my name. I was uh, Oh sorry, sorry. I think I'm echoing somewhere here. Yeah. Uh, please bear with me. Yes. So, um, 
I have the YouTube open, so it's it's echoing. Sorry. I'm really sorry for this. Anyway, um, I haven't really got much to say. I'll just say, let's just keep the fire burning. Let's keep ourselves motivated. And please, when you get assignments, please try and do it. Um, it just shows that we're learning. And the more we practice, uh, the better we will become. So that's, that's just all I have to say. Because I noticed on the Telegram group, uh, Mr. Stephen was saying that some people were not, um, were not giving feedback for the assignment yet. So I think it will be important for us to, to take that on board. Because no matter how much you, you just sit down and watch videos or learn, if you don't practice it, then you don't really get yourself into the examination mood. So I think that that would be something we need to just, just keep at the back of my, our mind. That when we learn, let's just try and practice. And the more we practice, the better we become. Uh, sometimes we're able to shorten the time we spend on each section. And, and it gives us a, a, a possibility of having a better outcome. So that's that's just all I think I'll just add to the to the mix. Uh, right. Well done, Mr. Steve. Well done, everyone. Uh, God will bless you. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Amen. Thank, thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. We are grateful. Thank you, sir. It's been an awesome experience. Thank you. 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 Thank you very much. So good night, everyone. Thanks so much for the time.